1943, the United States and Japan fought over a tiny atoll in the Pacific called Kwajalein. At the time, it was an important Japanese base. After a short but bloody battle, the United States took over, turning the island into its own base of operations for the rest of World War II. Today, Kwajalein Atoll is still a restricted U.S. military base, but the remains of the battle are everywhere, some visible and some hidden. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to my world. Right below the boat is a silent graveyard of ships sunk by the United States during the battle. More than 20 ships and dozens of airplanes lie on the bottom of Kwajalein Lagoon, right where they sank more than 50 years ago. Today, the Blue World crew is heading out in search of an area called the Airplane Graveyard. This area of the lagoon is littered with hundreds of U.S. warplanes that were discarded at the end of the war because they were too damaged to be saved. The graveyard includes one of the most complete collections of World War II military aircraft anywhere in the world. Before every dive, the team members carefully double check each other's gear. Yeah, there's plenty of play there. Do you want it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It'll work. The dive site is more than 120 feet deep. We must be extra vigilant with safety. The decompression lines are lowered into the water and finally we descend. I'm the last one in and I'll be filming the exploration. First we discover the wreck of a Corsair, nose down in the sand. This plane was pushed off a barge more than 50 years ago. It landed on its nose and stayed upright ever since. Sections of wing without covering show the areas that had fabric instead of metal skin. The fabric has long since decomposed. The F-4U Corsair, manufactured by Vought Aircraft, was a peppy little fighter plane. The military rejected it at first because it couldn't land on a carrier deck. But after modifications, the Corsair went on to become one of the most famous and successful airplanes of World War II. The Corsair had one of the most powerful engines available and a huge propeller, which gave the plane an odd shape with bent wings. But it was fast by World War II standards, 400 miles an hour. But few were preserved. Of the almost 13,000 Corsairs built, only a handful are still flying like this one, restored to its former glory. Most of them lie silent and forgotten in places like this, Kwajalein Atoll, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Not far away from the Corsair, we find a dauntless dive bomber. There are dozens of these scattered throughout the airplane graveyard. The holes on the trailing edge of the wings are the air brakes, used to slow the plane while diving on a bomb run. This plane has an extra propeller in its cockpit. The Dauntless was the standard dive bomber on aircraft carriers through most of the war. It was one of the planes used in the initial air attacks on Kwajalein Atoll. The Dauntless was considered obsolete when World War II began. The Navy had planned to retire the plane before Pearl Harbor, but with aircraft in short supply, it continued to be used throughout the war. 
Lying silently in the airplane graveyard, the cockpit of this Dauntless has holes where the gauges once were. The gauges were probably salvaged for reuse before the plane was discarded. But even without the instruments, the cockpit makes a perfect home for a lionfish. The ribs are exposed on the rudder where the fabric skin used to be. Yet the aluminum skin of the airplane looks remarkably good for an airplane which has been underwater for more than 50 years. Meanwhile, a shark lurks in the background, keeping its eye on us. We move on to examine an upside-down Dauntless resting on a sandy bank. Its tail hook, used to catch the plane when it landed on an aircraft carrier, is sticking straight up. An anemone fish now calls the airplane home. Nearby, a B-25 sits perfectly positioned on the sand for takeoff. The twin-engine B-25 was a mid-range bomber, famous for the raid on Tokyo in April of 1942. One of the few B-25s that's still flying is on display at an air show. Although not as shiny, this B-25 in the airplane graveyard almost looks like it's ready to take off. The B-25's twin tail is bare, missing the fabric that once covered its rudders. The Bombay doors that once opened to unleash fury on its enemies are now home to a peaceful growth of pink algae. The cockpit? A nursery for baby fish. Only 50 yards away lies a C-46 Commando. The C-46 started out as a 36-seat passenger plane the military loved the huge interior and immediately ordered a militarized version optimized for transporting cargo. It played a significant role in carrying out the military's successful island hopping strategy in the Pacific, which explains how this plane got here. In the cockpit, the controls are still accessible, the throttles ready to be pushed up for takeoff. The cargo bay is enormous. Emptied of everything of value before it was discarded, the plane looks like a vast, empty warehouse, its memories locked away forever behind these silent walls. With our bottom time running out, we finally must abandon the airplane graveyard and head to the surface. While we decompress on the line, we can only imagine what other treasures hide in this incredible underwater museum. <laughs>